Game 18 of 19 with the final spot to the championship on the line in a rematch between Central Florida and Weatherford. Weatherford took the win the first time these two faced off, and it looked like we might be in store for a pitching show early. Dooley was dicing up batters for the Pats, but his Weatherford counterpart McLaughlin was just as good, both pitching scoreless first. But then the bats woke up. Weatherford strikes first, Sundgren connects on the 1-2 pitch, driving it out of Suplesio for a two-run tank. Shortly after, the Coyotes smell blood in the water and tack on another on a Jack Clark base hit that gets just past Lowry for the RBI. Coyotes looking to keep the inning going. Penley up with runners on, and he smokes one to left. Clark rounds third and breaks for home. Correa out and left collects, fires. The ball and Clark close at home at the same time. Bolden's tag is in time. The runner's out, and the Patriots avoid the big inning, and that's good enough to be our play of the day, brought to you by Qdoba. Now to the Pats with the bats. Ector drives in Jorge for the first Central Florida run of the game. Then, with the bases juked, a freebie. Bolin draws a walk. Why not another one for free, but probably less fun? Base is still loaded. Lowry gets a hit by a pitch, tying things up. Two more pat runs come in on the John Morant RBI base hit on the 1-2 and two pitch. And tack on two more after that when Valentin brings two Patriots in to score. And just like that, they've hung a crooked number of seven on the board. And that takes us to our home run of the day, brought to you by EC Electric. Villanueva up, and he unloads on a 2-2 pitch. That ball smoked to dead center, clearing the batter's eye, and Weatherford takes a bite out of the Patriot lead. But that lead wouldn't last long. First, following a Jack Clark double. Following a Jack Clark double, Romans comes in to score on a wild pitch. Then the next batter, Penley, brings it even closer on a sacrifice fly that brings Clark around to score. That same inning, Taki doubles to left center. Barron and Arthur both score. Weatherford retakes the lead at 8-2-7. Pats back up to bat again. The catcher Bullen up to bat and he gets a the catcher Bullen up to bat and he gets all of that. Smoking that one out to left field over the wall, out of Suplesio. Patriots now retake the lead in this back and forth ball game. Hector gets a hold of one and blasts one out to left, and we're tied at 13 apiece late. And this one looked like it was bound to head to extra innings. But then in the top of the eighth, with the bases loaded, Jorge draws a walk, allowing the go-ahead run to come in and score. And that'd be all the Central Florida bullpen would need as they close it out. And for the second night in a row, win a dramatic game, surviving and advancing. It's the most offensive team I've ever been around. And, and uh, you know, we had a, a couple of guys on the mound that were really special. Uh, you know, and to be honest with you, it, it'll take probably a couple of weeks to, to really uh, let it sink in and, and just have a really a good understanding of, you know, what all we accomplished as, as a group, what all we accomplished individually. And, you know, just to, to, to wrap your mind around, you know, 28, 29 home runs, over 100 RBIs. And, you know, if it wasn't for this guy, this guy would have broken all of our records this year. I mean, he would have broken our home run record this year uh, as well. So, man, some... Uh, I think Ryan Rodriguez had our wins record and was close to our strikeout record. And uh, just, uh, and I think I've said this before, but special teams have special players, and and uh, we certainly have a bunch of them on the, on this group, and they'll be missed. Uh, but they're leaving a footprint, man. I, that's what I told them in our meeting, and uh, man, proud that, that that they're leaving the legacy that they're leaving. Uh, it's like what our outfield coach sends in our group me. Um, he sent a dog chasing a tennis ball, and he said, "I want you guys chasing every ball like that." And so that's it. That's our motto is just chase the ball like we're a dog wanting a tennis ball.